Hey there, it's Jake from Texla, and today we're going to be going over how to register for A2P verification. So to kick it off, we can talk about the benefits of A2P 10 DLC verification. The first being a higher throughput. Essentially, once you purchase a phone number, it is assigned a message per second rate of one. This means that if you send 200 messages, it's going to take 200 seconds for all of those messages to go out. Once you're A2P 10 DLC verified, however, you're assigned a different message per second rate uh, that is higher than one. So it can be anywhere from three to 100, just depending on the trust score that you get back from Twilio. The second benefit of A2P 10 DLC, which is the most important, is that it will eliminate carrier filtering. Uh, if you're sending a lot of messages from a number that is not verified, you will notice that a lot of messages will not go through and will be blocked by the carriers, so A2P10 DLC will eliminate that. Lastly, A2P10 DLC verification is going to be for local numbers, so if you're sending from a toll-free, you will have to complete a different verification form. It's going to be called toll-free verification, so I'll just leave the link to that in the description. Feel free to check that article out. Um, if you're unsure of your number type, local numbers will begin with a three-digit area code, so that's what we're doing here with A2P 10 DLC. And if you're using a toll-free number, it's going to begin with 800, 888, 877, 866, 855, 844, or 833. If it begins with any of those, you will need to complete the toll-free verification that's in the description. Additionally, you will need to have an upgraded Twilio account to proceed with the A2P verification. To get started, click the account dropdown in the top right of your Twilio console and click overview under Trust Hub. Then on this page, you're gonna to wanna to click create primary business profile. The first step is to provide your legal business name and a physical business address. You can just click this button, either select from your saved addresses or you can enter a new address and click save in the bottom left. Then we're gonna click next. The next thing is business information. You are gonna be a direct customer since you're using Texla. Next is your business type, the business industry, and next you're gonna to need to put in your EIN or your tax number for other countries. Once that's been put in, select your business regions of operations. When entering your business URL, you're gonna to wanna to have https colon slash slash www dot. Next is people to contact. These are gonna be folks inside of your company that uh, Twilio can reach out to just to confirm that you are a real company. And once that first representative has been put in, you can either fill out for a second or click that you do not have a second. And confirm that your nominated authorized representative agrees to be contacted by Twilio. Then we're going to click next. Next is notification settings. Um, this is essentially once this has been submitted to Twilio, they've looked at it and they've verified it. Uh, they're going to shoot you over an email saying, hey, it's been, uh, it's been completed, you're all verified, or, you know, we need XYZ information from you to continue with the verification process. Um, so feel free to just fill out your email address. No need to worry about the status callback webhook. Then click next. Lastly, we're going to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy, and we're going to submit that for review. Once your customer profile has been submitted, you can go to submit your brand. The way you're going to do that is up in the top right, click account, then go to overview. And then right here where it says go to A2P messaging, we're just going to click on that. And it's going to say that our standard customer profile is in review. Um, this should take about 24 to 72 hours, usually on the shorter side, um, but we can just hop straight into our standard brand. So we're just going to click brands over here on that left hand sidebar and click plus register a brand. The first thing that's going to come up when you register your brand is what type of brand you're going to be actually registering. So um, you have the low volume standard brand, $4 one time fee, or the standard brand, which is a $44 one time fee. 
all this comes down to is volume. So if you're going to be sending fewer than 6,000 message segments a day, you can go with the low volume standard. Um, if you're going to be sending about 6,000 or more um, in any given day, I would definitely go with standard because you have a ton of room to grow and you don't have to worry about the complications of getting that switched over, you know, in a month or two. Um, so if you're right around that, you know, five, 6,000 contact line and you're looking to grow your SMS, I would definitely just go ahead and pick standard because that's going to make it a lot easier to just kind of grow exponentially later down the line. Next, you're going to select company type, um, just whatever applies to you, and enable brand sharing with your current sub accounts. Um, essentially, if you have any sub accounts, uh, this will just attach the brand um, to them as well. So we're just going to say no to that. And then you're going to agree to the either $4 or $44 one-time fee, depending on uh, which of those brands applies to your business. Then we're going to click register. Now this process should be fairly quick, should be anywhere from one to five minutes. Um, if it takes longer than that, it's been submitted into manual review. So you can expect that to take, you know, 24 to 48 hours to kind of get that back. Um, all right, so once this comes back as registered, we can just hit this continue button. Um, if it did take a longer amount of time to register, just go to account, this drop down up here, click on overview, click on go to A2P messaging, scroll down, click brands, and you can see it's registered. You've got your brand type, your T-Mobile daily limits, um, and then your trust score, uh, that's going to only be for standard brands is a, is a trust score. So once the brand is completed, we have one more step and then you'll be fully A2P registered. And you're going to click on this campaigns over here on the left. Now, the most important thing about campaigns is make sure that your Twilio account has already been connected to Texla. So if you haven't already and you plan on sending from Texla, make sure to copy your account SID and your auth token, paste them into Texla. And uh, if you haven't yet connected those accounts, I'll leave that article in the description below. So once that's connected or if it already has been connected, you can just click this register a campaign button. The first thing is going to be your A2P campaign use case. Um, so essentially, are you going to be sending this for customer care? So maybe, you know, customer service. Um, are you going to be sending people notifications? Um, the most common is going to be marketing. Um, so that's what we're going to select here. But uh, whatever really applies to you um, in any of those categories. Now, this is the most important step. Make sure to do this or all of the campaigns registration will have to be redone later. So um, on messaging service, it will be defaulted to create new messaging service. Make sure to select select existing messaging service. And once you click that drop down, there should be an option for your text messaging service. So you're gonna wanna select that. Next is campaign description. This is gonna be just a kind of rough breakdown of what texts you're planning on sending. Um, you know, this is going to be for customer service with folks that, you know, are using our product, or this is going to be us sending marketing texts to opted in clients. This is going to be, you know, scheduling appointments for appointment reminders, whatever you're kind of going to use it for. Just give a brief campaign description for all the messages you're going to be sending. Next up, you're just going to type out two sample messages. This is just what you're kind of campaigns are going to look like so that they know uh, what types of messages you're going to be sending. Once those sample messages have been written out, we're going to go down to message contents. Um, so there's two things that you can check. Messages will include embedded links and messages will include phone numbers. If any of your texts are going to involve any links of some kind, um, taking them to maybe your uh, website, you're going to want to click that. Um, and same with phone numbers. If you're going to say, hey, Everyone, um, if you'd ever like to call us and, you know, get some help on our phone line, feel free to call us at X number, um, you know, stuff like that. So if you're thinking of sending either of those, make sure to check those off. Next is extremely important. How do end users consent to receive messages? So this can be done in a variety of facets. Um, folks can be opted in maybe by signing a waiver when they're in your physical location and you collect phone numbers that way. 
Um, maybe it can be collected from a form that just sits on your website where people will fill it out and request to either be opted into, you know, marketing texts or sales texts or whatnot. Um, it's just essentially how you're collecting that data and how they're giving you permission to send them texts. Um, so type that out. And then lastly is opt-in keywords and opt-in message. These two steps are not required. Um, there is an option to also create opt-in keywords inside of Textlet. If you'd ever like to do that later on, maybe you're not sure if you wanna do it from within the Twilio panel because it's a little bit tough to manage. So I recommend don't worry about that. Um, if you ever do wanna create an opt-in keyword later down the line, you can just do that directly from your Textlet account. So once all these steps are done, you can click create. Now, here are the fees associated with this. Um, anywhere from $1.50 to $10 fee per month uh, based on kind of your use case. Um, so you'll get that number once it's been registered. Next is a one-time vetting fee. So right when you confirm it, you're going to be charged $15 from your account balance um, while the campaign registration is pending. Then after that, it's going to be the $1.50 to $10 kind of charge per month uh, just to keep that H2P active and make sure that you're staying verified. Then we can click confirm here. Once that's been submitted, we can click continue. Lastly, we're going to register our phone numbers. If you have multiple phone numbers, feel free to select any that you'd like to move into this verification. Um, keep in mind, if you buy phone numbers later down the line, they can just be moved in uh, at a later date. So you don't have to, this is not required to get every single, you know, number that you need to get verified in here. Um, this is just, you would make it super easy. If you have all your phone numbers already, you can just add them in. Um, if not, if a month, two months from now, you want to buy a, a different phone number, you can just throw it um, back into this A2P kind of registered campaign. So then we're going to hit register and confirm and close. Awesome. So lastly, we'll just kind of double check. We'll go back on this left side where it says H2P 10 DLC overview. We're going to click on that and we can see that we have successfully been registered. And then you'll just want to check back on that campaign registration. If it is still listed as in progress, you will not receive H2P verified benefits until this is moved to verified. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's not going to be instant. Um, it can take anywhere from a couple days to a few weeks, just depending on the time of year, um, if there's any delays, because Twilio uses a third party, so there's not really much they can do to speed up the process. It's really up to that third party. Um, so once the campaign status has moved to verified, you will receive an email with confirmation on that, just letting you know that you're fully set up and uh, you should be all good to go ahead and just send texts and you will see reduced filtering. But while it's in that in progress state, um, your campaigns won't be affected. So you still will get some uh, message deliverability issues and might get hit with a few fees while that's kind of uh, in progress if you send out campaigns while it's in progress. So just keep that in mind. And if anyone has any questions about A2P 10 DLC, feel free to just message us at support at texla.com. Uh, shoot us an email and we'd be happy to hop on a call with you and kind of help you get set up. Thanks.